Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Anya. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a different spread this time. Got these little love oracle cards and those are gonna be the subject for each side. And what I'm gonna do is the masculine and the feminine energy. Now, you can identify with either one, but it's whoever you're dealing with because this is a general love general ugh, if I could spit it out general love reading for Pisces Sun Moon Rising and Venus okay so check your chart let's see what we get here for my Pisces sticking up doesn't want to lay down what does it say love call someone ex someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know so somebody's gonna be making a call sending an email or something okay somebody's gonna express their love let's see what the other side's doing Love it. My Pisces deserve love. Yes, you do. The golden mirror. Ooh, self absorbed, narcissist, one sided relationship. Love bombing. Uh oh. We got somebody that is self absorbed and narcissistic in this situation. And that doesn't surprise me. It, I, it seems like all Pisces have a type. And we're giving, loving. I know I'm one too. And to a fault, a lot of times. And it, we end up with a narcissist that. You know, they, they're just the way they are. Alright. Let's pull some romance angels. And see what they got to say for each of those sides. Like I said, one's masculine, one's feminine. That could be your masculine or feminine side. And the other person is holding whatever energy that is holding. Could be masculine holding the feminine energy. Okay? Alright. What do we got? On the love call. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So divine timing is at work here. Whatever this person is waiting for, it's worth it. Okay? Looks like somebody might be seeing themselves in the mirror on the other side and not really caring for what they see. That's what I'm hearing. They're working on themselves, which is a good thing. If you think about it, it's a good thing. It's always a good thing to work on yourself. Come on. What are you going to give me for golden mirror? We got getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. So, this person on this side needs to open up. Stop being so self-absorbed and open up to this person. If there's going to be any kind of a union here. Alright. And then we got um, I do past, present, and future. Two energies for each. And a final outcome. Alright. Oh, 
want to thank you to all my new subscribers. I appreciate it so much. I'm so very grateful. Um, didn't really get into that in the beginning of the video. Kind of concentrating on your energy right now. Um, that's what I do a lot of times is meditate before, before I do these. So helps me read the collective energy. Let's get a pass for worth waiting for. At the Emperor. Somebody is standing in their own power here. Somebody's being a leader. Could be an Aries you're what you're dealing with. Tell me a little yeah, somebody's gonna get a message from this possible Aries. Or a leader of some kind. Maybe from overseas. Um, I'm seeing this as a... This is a long distance situation. I don't know who needs to hear this, but this is somebody that's far away. And they're, they're a leader of some kind. They're a, maybe a government military see that card but they're, they're some kind of leader and they're worth waiting for whoever this person is it wants a message from far away alright let's see what the past is on the golden mirror Ooh, we got the emperor or the high priestess. So there's some there's some secrets here on this other side. There's some things that this person doesn't know. They're gonna have to use their own intuition to get to the bottom of it. But this is a Pisces card. This is you, Pisces. So this person's got you on their mind. You just have to use your intuition because you are the high priestess. So you have to use your intuition because this person is thinking about you. <laughs> and they're thinking about taking a leap of faith with you. So, wow, that turned beautiful real quick. So even though this person is narcissistic and self-absorbed, Possibly. Um, they're still, they're trying to get to know you. And they're going to take that leap of faith with you, Pisces. That's the message that, that you're getting. Now, this might not happen right away, and that's why it's worth waiting for. Okay? But so far, this is, this is gorgeous. Wow. Um... Presently, you are in Devil Capricorn. Um, wow, these are kinds everywhere. And then, yeah, this is where you're at presently. I'm, I'm guessing Pisces because it looks like you might be trying to break the chains on some kind of codependent behavior and free yourself into this Nine of Pentacles. Uh, energy which is you know being comfortable making money doing your own thing uh, enjoying your solitude you're being single because this is not a dark card to be with the devil that tells me that you're breaking these chains whatever they are if this is you this is the other person they're breaking these chains of, of codependency and then codependency doesn't have to be drugs it, it can be anything. It could be people. It could be a way of life. It could be, you know, money. But whoever this person is, either you or the other person, is breaking those chains. So they can be happy within themselves. Okay? The present situation for the golden mirror. What do we have? 
so <laughs> nice. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. One more, one cup away. Nine. Oh, shoot. Hold on, guys. I haven't done that in a long time. I like cards that came out, but there's just too many. We're gonna, we're gonna do that again. Alright? If they come back out again, I'll take them. Um... What about this Nine of Cups? I'm going to try and get away with something. That's what, the, that's, that's what needs to be gotten to the bottom, the bottom of. A Nine of Cups. Hmm. I'm going to pull a little more tarot on that. Somebody's trying to be sneaky. It's still coming up the Knight of Cups. Alright. Um, in this golden mirror, in the present situation, it's the Knight of Cups. This you or this person that's on their love call and worth waiting for is their Knight of Cups, right? It's their wish fulfillment. However, Someone's being a little sneaky here. Could be sneaky because they're trying to surprise you. Okay? Don't take that as a bad, uh, bad omen because we've got the Page of Cups, which is an offer of love. And then we got the Knight of Cups, which is forever love. So, I that is just, you know... So maybe somebody's secretly going to pop the question. And they're being sneaky about it. But it's not something you really need to worry about. And this this is definitely all this is all water, except for this. This is Gemini Libra Aquarius. So this is Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This is Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You may be very well dealing with another water sign who has Aries in their chart. Because I don't I don't see, unless this is you and you, which I see two people here. I see an empress, or, or empress, high priestess. The emperor and the devil. Okay, let's do the final outcome on this. Wow. It's beautiful, Pisces. Final outcome for both sides. Guess my uh, candles are melting. Oh well. Alright, I'll come for it. Darn it! I was hoping that was going to keep going good like that. So there is going to be some kind of conflict in the end. Um, probably inner conflict on one side or the other about how far they want to take this. This is, you know, there is no time limit on it. Yeah, somebody found out the truth about a situation. So, maybe this deception here is that the thing that you need to find out is maybe this person is married. Or with someone else, because the conflict comes at the end with the with the Queen of Swords, who don't play. Okay, she wants nothing but the truth. She'll extend her hand in friendship, but she'll cut it off just as fast. Okay, she's good queen, fair queen, but wants nothing but honesty. All right, and. We got a Scorpio on the bottom. So you might be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay? Because this, this is a transformation uh, for someone. And on this side, it is worth waiting for. But there is going to be some conflict about the truth. Because of this, this, this night page 
and Nine of Cups comes with some deception. You're going to find out that deception at the end because it's the truth. Now, how you handle that is uh, entirely up to you. But I'm just telling you the situation. That although this person is personifying the Nine of Cups, the, the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Cups energy, there is some deception here. And you're going to find out. All right. Outside of that, beautiful read, and you're probably dealing with the Scorpio, more than likely. All right, but that don't take that at face value. There is also an Aries here. There's also another Pisces here. So it could be any of those signs. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you next time. Okay. Take care. Bye for now.